this. Good morning, welcome to Coffee and Crafts, or good afternoon if you're on the East Coast. Thank you for joining me. I'm Linda Cullen from Crafty Stampin', and okay, so let's go through. So thank you for the time adjust. We here in New England got a little bit of snow again. We always, we're nowhere near lots of other parts of the country. We're not inundated, we just keep getting little bits. Um, but it was just enough to cause a two hour delay for my kids, and it just screwed up my morning so I just pushed it an hour so I thank you and I'm sorry if that caused anyone any confusion so let's get let's let's start right off the bat so here is what we are gonna do today this is the home to roost note card it is made with the home to roost stamp set that is free with the celebration products it is if you place a $50 qualifying order you can get that uh, home to roost stamp set for free um, and that is what we're going to play with today. We are also have, or I, I always say we, like who else is with me here? It is me, myself, and I here, but at some reason I always feel the need to say we. Um, I feel like I guess I just need Tammy with me. Um, so the giveaways for today. So today's prizes are if you are watching live and that is on Facebook only and you leave a comment and you can just say hi. Um, you can be entered into win the heart and stars wood elements and I will draw that winner at the very end of today's broadcast if you do not win the heart and stars you are watching this later either on Facebook or YouTube you can be entered to win the tranquil tulips that is a celebration set from last year and I thought they would pair nicely with the lasting lilies of this year so if anybody um, would have both that'd be kind of cool um, if so all you have to do again for that is leave a comment on Facebook or YouTube and those two things will be joined together for uh, next week to be drawn if you share this video on any social media platform Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube, something else you know about that I don't. Um, and then come back and leave a comment shared with a D. I will put you in for a second entry. So those are our giveaways, our normal giveaways. But I, I have an extra bonus giveaway for today because you know Murphy's Law. Um, my son is getting a new saxophone today. He plays the alto and tenor sax, and he is now getting a soprano sax. And my husband ordered it, and it's being delivered by UPS and needs a signature. My husband's like, yeah, you're home. You can do that. I'm like, I got things to do today. Um, and granted, we got the time frame that UPS sent, and it's to be here between 1 and 5 Murphy's Law, it's going to come during the middle of this broadcast. So, if just so happens that I have to run to my door to sign for this package, I'm going to throw in an extra bonus giveaway of the um, Hoppy Together. So Hoppy Together. And I will, I'm not going to edit this video. So this minute that I'm going to disappear is going to stay up here on Facebook or on YouTube. So I'm going to make that available to anyone who's watching this, you know, even later. So it'll be picked along with the, um, uh, what was it called? Um, tulips, the tranquil tulips next week. So I'm going to apologize right now. Maybe because I've done this, it won't happen and you'll come late. And of course, then I won't be able to go out of the house all day. But, you know, that that's what it is. So let's pick our giveaway from last time that is the by the bay which is a current celebration product and this was when we were um watching uh we were doing the, the lilies last time so i'm going to i flip you over here we are on random.org let me fly down the bottom and i'm just going to quickly scroll to the top so people can see that their names are there somewhat kind of fast if you see people's names that are doubled it's because they took an extra moment to share this video and then type the word shared and that's my way of saying thank you <laughs> i know now everybody wants ups to show up <laughs> i'm like how do i make this work i'm like i'll just do more giveaways so, all right, so here we go. I'm going to hit randomize, and the name that ends up at the very top will be the winner of the By the Bay stamp set. Here we go, randomize. Ba -dum -bum. 
oh, Mary Co. I said this on the Stamp and Scoop on Tuesday, and I've said it before. If you know Mary, you want to like rub Mary. And if you don't know Mary, you want to find her and rub her. This is the luckiest woman I know. So congratulations, Mary. Mary, please, though you probably already know how to do this, head over to craftystampin.com. Go up to specials, then giveaway. Come on. There we go. And click the claim your prize button, fill the form out, and I will get the buy the bay stamp set to you. <laughs> so congratulations to Mary. So let's go back. Let's just recap here real quick. Um, I know everyone's, oh my God, again, I swear to God, rub Mary, rub her. Because usually she's also like, I'm watching you from a cruise ship. I want to be Mary. Actually, I want to meet Mary. I want to meet Mary and I want to be Mary. Um, all right. So this is the project we're going to do today. Um, and this is the home to roost. And then one last, run this by again. If I have to leave for a second to answer the door to sign for UPS, I'm adding another giveaway. So that's just a potential of what could happen today. So let's just jump down here to the webcam. <laughs> let's, let's play. Oh, do I have, hold on. Where's my webcam controller? There it is. All right. So like usual, oh, I can put the hoppy, hoppy together away. All right. So like usual, in about an hour, probably a little less, but we, um, we, I will post a, uh, website, a recap. And in that recap is always a downloadable PDF that will have all the information that you need to recreate this card. Um, so you don't need to, um, take any notes at the moment. You can just wait and then you can rewatch this video and take notes at that point. And I got all the cut sizes, everything you need to create the card. And if we realize along the way, um, I forgot something, we'll add it before I post it. So let's get crafting. All righty. So here we go. So we're starting with Night of Navy. I had already scored this. So I'm just going to set that aside. And I, I'm going to forewarn you, I might go rogue. Um, I made this card um, for a swap, which now seems like months ago. And as I was sitting here today looking at it, I'm like, oh, I could do this. I could do that. So I, it may not look the same when we're done. We'll see. I don't know. All right. So I'm going to start. This is uh, Mango Melody. And let me pull you in. A, oh, we'll leave that thing there for a minute. Where it is? I'm going to use the hexagons dynamic folder. And so that means I'm going to have the big shot platform and one cutting plate. Open this up. I stick my cardstock in here. Place that in the big shot with the one cutting plate. There we go. I, these dynamic folders make the best impressions on the paper. And this one is, there's no crinkles, there's no nothing. It is beautiful. Do I need to do anything else? Eh, we'll come back. All right. Put the big shot over there. I'll set this aside for right now. I'm just doing this in some crazy random order. There is no rhyme nor reason to what I'm doing right now. Why? Why start? I don't think I've ever worked in a rhyme or a reason. Good morning, everybody. I see everyone popping on saying hi. Hi, hi, hi. Um, thank you all for, for joining in. So I'm taking Versamark, and this is Gallery Grunge. And there's some fun uh, images here to use as kind of like backgrounds and stuff. I'm going to use this one. It looks like... Um, almost like a parquet flooring, wood grain. Um, and I thought, you know, kind of wood, barn, chicken, you know, chicken wire, kind of how I mixed all these different elements together. So I'm, I'm inking this up. Um, so there's the wood with the Versamark. And here we go. I have um, my embossing buddy, 
I mean, I got too much going on this table. Let's pull you out a smidge. There we go. So I got my embossing buddy and put that on. This is real red cardstock. Powder that up. And I'm going to use uh, copper embossing powder. Um, I always get asked every time I do this. So these um, the resources, like where I get these containers and stuff, I've now added it, added it, added it to, um, if you're on Facebook, it's in the description above, downloads and resources. If you're on YouTube, it'll be below. But there's it says downloads, downloads and resources, and there's a link, and it'll show you where I get this uh, the items that I use to store my embossing powders and such. There's other cool stuff on there too, so just FYI. All right, so we're just going to stamp this. And then bring over my powder. Okay. You can kind of see. Let's we'll show up more when it heats up. Let me put this away before I send embossing powder flying across the room. Been there done that. Okay. Keep heat gun. All right, and I warm it up a smidge below my table here. How is everybody doing? We surviving the winter? I'm so ready for spring. I'm done with the snow. Like I said, we haven't had a lot, but what we've had has just been annoying. Not that I'm asking for more, but we're just at the end of February, it could still get bad. <laughs> okay, so this is the copper embossing powder on real red. Honduras. Who is M is from Honduras. I bet it's warm there. I don't think you have snow in Honduras. <laughs> 10 feet snow banks for Nikki. Yeah, we've been there. I've been there. So, all right. So you saw me, I put the powder for the embossing buddy on to keep it from the static cling and getting the embossing powder where I don't want it. So now I sort of have this white like hue on my, um, Cardstock, I literally take my jeans, see if I can, and I rub the card on my jeans to get rid of the powder. You know, four feet of snow in Oregon. Ooh, you guys, ah, we've been there. I have pictures from several years back where the snowbank out my front door was up to here. Oh, no, thank you. All right. I'm going to bring back my boss, my big shot. Uh, I'm going to scroll you back out. Ooh, there we go. All right. So now that we're going to... Oh, 75 in Arizona, Donna. Yeah. I, I, that's where I want to be. Who wants to go with me to visit Donna? <laughs> All right. So I am using the largest... Stitch, stitched shape square. You can get that all out without slurring. All right. And there we go. All right. Oops. All right. Oh, somebody else just had 75. In, o in Ohio. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. So I forgot. I didn't put the thin die. So we're start we got the big shot platform, the thin die adapter. So I was gonna send that through and it wasn't gonna work. I'm too excited about going to Arizona <laughs> in 75. Uh, one cutting plate. Now we're gonna line this up again. Oh, to be in 75 degree weather. Leaving the cold. We're going to Maui. Oh Maui! Nice and warm. Alright. 
There we go. There we go. All right, let's pull this back in so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. All right, so what have we done? Uh, okay. So let's let's stamp our rooster. Stamp our rooster. Where is he? All right. So here's my rooster man. He is again. This is the home to roost. You see it in there. Home to roost stamp set. Several greetings with the rooster and the wheat grass. One or the other. Um, I'm going to stamp this in memento black uh, ink ink him up real well see how he looks oh beautiful beautiful right. so I'm gonna hit him so I'm gonna color him with the uh, Blend. So I'm going to hit him real quick with the heat gun just to dry, make sure he's fully dry. Because I don't stay within the lines when I'm coloring him. Alright. Now. Alright, let's just color. Oh, I didn't bring. Yeah. So I'm grabbing a post-it note. So I'm just sticking a post-it note to the back instead of having uh, scrap paper underneath because the blends will go through the paper. So just so it doesn't end up, not that there isn't stuff all over my desk already, um, but just to try to keep it to a minimum. Move some stuff over there. Blends. All right. So my, my blends are array for today is light and dark night of navy dark bermuda bay dark cajun craze light and dark um no dark mango melody light and dark cajun craze bronze and light cherry cobbler again i did this so long ago trying to remember exactly what i did to color him so we will see what did i do all right, so let's start. Let's start at the top. All right, so I'm going to start with mango. And I'm going to start up here. Okay, and then let's do. I'm gonna move on to Cajun Craze. Let me see, I'm trying to remember. Actually, let's do light. Uh, I remember what I did before. Whoops, go this way. All right, and I'm going to blend into the color before. And now this is dark Cajun Craze. And back to my uh, mango. And then it looks like I went to, this is the light real red. And and then I'm gonna come down here with, this is light Night of Navy and and then this is the dark Bermuda Bay. Oh god, I'm off the screen. Sorry. And the Bermuda Bay is in between the red of the cherry cobbler and the knight of navy back to the knight of navy and then back to the light cherry cobbler
All right. So now I'm not worried. I kind of, he's starting to blur outside the line, but I'm going to fussy cut him out. So I'm not overly worried about him. Uh, so I'm going to color his face and head with the light uh, cherry cobbler. And the bronze, I'm just going to go over his feet. Again, that's going to get fussy cut, so I am not worrying about that. So now I want to work on his tail uh, for his plumage. Um, so I'm going to start with the Bermuda Bay. Kind of put a little on his butt there. Let's see. Let me kind of go this way. I'm just kind of doing little curls. And now I've got the light cherry cobbler. And then ch -ch 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 -ch, Night of Navy. I'm going to take Dark Knight and Night of Navy. Actually, I kind of want to pull this one. And I think that's kind of how I want to leave him. A little darker mango. I think that's it. You know, I just, I love, I, I shared on my uh, bl a blog post yesterday over um, another card that I had received as a swap with this guy on it that ro I, I love roosters because they, they, they're so pretty and whatever. And so when I redid my kitchen like 10 years ago, I painted it yellow, like probably a little lighter than mango, and I had red elements, and I thought, oh, it's going to look like a rooster. I should get some rooster stuff. So there's rooster curtains, and then in my chandelier has a big metal rooster in the middle. And then all my family and friends went, oh, Linda likes chickens and roosters. Let's give her chicken and roosters for Christmas and birthdays. I literally had to tell them to stop. I'm like, you're making me into the crazy chicken lady. And... I literally now have people come in, they're standing in my kitchen, they're looking around going, you seem to like chickens. <laughs> so yeah, this stamp set just fit right into my wheelhouse and I don't look like the crazy rooster lady when I'm using him. So, all right, so now we got a fussy cut. <laughs> Let me back out a smidge, you guys get to watch me fussy cut. Um, so, get it in. In frame, I'm not too worried about his feet, honestly. There we go. Cut out all the places where it bled. Though, does do any of you guys have? roosters or chickens my girlfriend used to have a horse at a barn and basically the rooster was the uh, watchdog because it would chase you and peck you you did not mess with the rooster on the farm let's see i always worry about my fussy cutting skills while while live you can see like <laughs> There we go. There we go. Yeah, I'll come back and fix that. Make sure I got to check every once in a while, make sure I'm still in frame.
I thought at one point I'd put like a square on the thing, like you're in frame if you're in here, but you zoom in, you zoom out, it doesn't really work that way, the way you think it might. Okay, what did I do? I just know I did. All right, all right we're going to just. I'm going to shortcut the, the plumage at the moment. Let's see. All right. I'm afraid if I talk and fussy cut, I'm going to cut a leg off. Oh. All right, so. Now I'm just trying to make it look like there's plumage at the end here. Woo! All right, now I gotta fix his beak here without cutting off his head. This is one of the ones they did not come out with a die. So tomorrow, you know, March 1st, you can buy the dies, a uh, coordinating dies. Uh, for some of the celebration sets, not one for the rooster, unfortunately, but for the frogs and the painted seasons, the cupcakes and the cupcakes, cupcakes, four seasons, lilies, lilies, and hop around. So these all go on sale tomorrow with the punch and the other stamp set. All right. Yeah, the roosters can be mean. They can be mean. All right, so here's where I'm going to go rogue. So here's my original card. All right, so I want to stamp. This is my favorite piece of wood in the wood. Um, all right, so I am... This is early espresso. I need a scrap now. I'm going to stamp on my... All right, so I get the early espresso, and this is the, I'm going to call it the grass, or the wheat, and I'm going to stamp it on here. All right, is that enough? Uh, yeah, that's good enough. All right. And then the other thing I wanted to do, so I got my greeting. So I was using the greeting, um, so I'm Knight of Navy, the Just a Note. Okay, so one of the, what I used was the classic label punch to punch that out. I'm going to fussy cut this instead. See how well I can do with this. Yeah, good enough. All right. If I don't like it, I'll stamp it again and go back to the punch. We'll see. We always have options. All right. Let's try and assemble here. All right. So I need some snail. All Good morning for everybody who's popping on who may not have been here in the beginning. We are working on... A card with the home to roost stamp set and we'll be doing a giveaway at the end of the broadcast so leave a comment you can just say hi um, and right now we do have one watch later so if you don't win you could win a stamp set um, next week and if my doorbell rings and I have to run to um, 
sign for a package from UPS, I'm throwing in a second uh, watch later giveaway. So everyone now is rooting that UPS shows up. <laughs> all right. So now, all right. So here's the the wood from the gallery, gallery grunge, gallery, gallery grunge. So we're going to add that here. All right, so this is going to go here. Now I'm like, do I want grass over there? What do you think? Let's go for it. Let's see how well this works. This is when I get in these ideas, like after I've already half assembled, and it's like, mm-mm, not going to work, but... Okay. So I just block, mask that off. I got my espresso out again and my leaves. And all right, that worked better than I thought it would. All right. This is how this is what I, this is how I create normally is most of my stuff is taken apart four or five times before I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I got a better idea. All right. So I want to put this on here. Uh, I'm going to add snail to the back of my... There we go. On here. All right. And all right. So my rooster is going to go here right in the middle and I was going to do just the note here now because I didn't want it to block yeah that works I didn't want it to block my uh, grass that I just stamped so let's take some mini dimensionals I'm going to stick those on the rooster and see if I can fit one more down here Oh. Come on. Get the backings off all of these. All right, here we go. So I'll move that. Okay, so let's position our rooster. There he oh there we go. There he is. Okay, now do we, does this snail? Yeah, that's snail. So put snail there. I'm gonna slide this here. All right. Now the question: Does he need anything else? Does he need bling? I don't know. He's got the copper. I don't have any good copper bling. Um, yeah, I don't think he needs any pearls or anything. <laughs> There's some some. Things just don't need some bling. So, oh well. So I think we're done. Are we in the clear with UPS? Oh my. Oh my, oh my. All that's going to mean is I'm going to be stuck at the house until 6 p.m. Yes, the UPS guy is taking his sweet time. I thought for sure I'm going to hit go live and that doorbell is going to ring. All right. So let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's do our live giveaway. So let me, I have to refresh this over here. So you got a couple seconds to quickly leave a comment. You can jump on and just say hi. Um, you don't have to leave a lot of, a lot of stuff. Um, okay. It, they've updated their system of how they do this. All right. Okay. Giving you five. You got four to leave a comment. I'm going to hit refresh again. Three to jump on, say hi, and all right, let's go. All right, so now if I scroll this here, this is a strange website that we I found to use. Okay, transition, here we go. So I'm gonna hit this start button, and it's you're gonna see a bunch of names kind of flash through, and then it'll say winner is. So here we go, one, two, three, go. Bum, 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 b
Donna's one of my downlines, so I'm very excited. Donna, you do not have to fill out the thing. I will send you the hearts and stars elements without that. So congratulations to Donna. And you know what? I am going to be, because I tortured you guys. Um, so I'm going to be a good doobie, and I'm going to do two giveaways for Watch Later. So in addition to... Um, what was I else was I doing? So we're going to do the hoppy together, even though Mr. UPS didn't show up and he now probably won't show up till like 630. Um, I will still do that giveaway um, on the 7th in addition to the um, tranquil tulips. So I thank you guys for uh, being patient with me um, in case he did show up. So thank you very much. I will be back on Tuesday. Um, with another project and hopefully I won't have to wait. We have another instrument coming, so it'll probably be that day too. So I may have to do this again. Um, but so have a wonderful weekend. I hope no one gets any more snow and that the sun comes out and melts the snow you do have and not too fast so it doesn't flood. Um, but I hope everyone has a great weekend and oh, and pay attention to my website tomorrow. There could be some news. Uh, Stampin' Up! always puts stuff out on the first of the month. So I'll get that up as soon as I can in the morning. So keep an eye out. Uh, check to be uh, notified when I, a new blog post comes up on craftystampin.com and then you don't have to worry about checking back. Again, have a great day and I will see everybody next week. Bye.